Inside Science. You know, there has never been a more hopeful time as an era, as a field, in terms of what we have in our armamentarium to treat brain tumors. We have the molecular genetic codes that we're breaking on a daily basis to try and figure out why some patients with brain tumors respond very well to one therapy versus another patient with seemingly the same diagnosis may not respond at all. Now we have an ability to test the genetics of each patient's tumor to develop a targeted treatment therapy for them. At the same time, we've developed, we've had so many advances in imaging so that we have the advantage now of being able to take intraoperative MRI scans and fluorescent technology to make tumors light up in the operating room. We can track where they are and it makes surgery safer. It allows surgeons to take out more of the tumor, which then leads to a better prognosis for our patients. But then it doesn't stop there. Once we get the tissue, we can then analyze it based on that particular patient's and that particular tumor's genetic profile to develop a treatment plan that is unique only for that patient. And that has moved the needle more than anything else, I think, in the last half century. And so as dreaded of a problem as this is, I think there's never been a more hopeful time for what we're able to offer patients. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.